Hey guys, welcome back to another weekend of vlog. My name is Sarah. If you're new, I am actually on my way right now to an F45 class. It is my first Saturday class since being back working out, so I'm like a little nervous about it, but I have been loving being back into F45. It just makes me feel so much better. Sorry, this lighting is so bad. Um, but it makes me feel so much better and I've just been really loving it. So I'm on my way to the morning class. Gonna get my day started with that. Matt is actually golfing today with his brothers and dad. So I have a little Sarah day today. I think I'm gonna go run some errands and do some fun things and just bring you guys along. So let's head to a 45. Just finished. It's out of this parking garage here. All right. Workout is complete. I always feel so good after doing a workout. I wish I could do like a 10 a.m. or something workout every day because I work out at night. But I like working out like more morning, but not like early morning because <laughs> I'm not an or early morning person. But obviously I work in a nine to five job, so like I can't do that. <laughs> but that would be like ideal if I could work out like late mornings every day. And it's such a beautiful day. It says 72 degrees out right now. And it's so gorgeous. I wish Matt wasn't <laughs> coughing actually today so we could do something outside. But that's okay. I'm gonna get some errands done and just like have some alone time. I feel like it's always a good thing to have alone time. I actually really enjoy being alone, so I don't mind days where Matt is out with his friends and all that kind of stuff. Like, he always feels like he doesn't want to leave me because then I would be alone, but like, I like being alone, um, especially now Matt has been working from home. Before, he used to go into his house, which like, he works for his mom, so he used to go to his house to work, and now he's been working from our house. So I see him like 24 seven every single day of my life. So it is nice sometimes to have some alone time. And I think it's a good thing to know like that it is okay to want some alone time if you're always with your spouse or significant other or whatever it is. Um, alone time is healthy and I love my alone time. So I think I'm going to do a little Trader Joe's run today. I really want Chick-fil-A. So I think I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A and like eat in the parking lot <laughs> in my car. I don't know why I do that, but I do that all the time. If I'm like by myself and just like out grabbing some food, I'll just eat in my car. Um, I've always been that person that like eats by myself, whether it was like in a dining hall or like whatever. Like that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get home and get Frank really fast, gotta shower, freshen up. But yeah, it's a beautiful day. I'm so excited for fall. Like it's not even funny. I wanna do like a big fall home goods haul and like shopping type stuff i really don't need more fall decor but i think i'm gonna go out bring you guys along one day in the next few weeks and do some fall little shopping and all that kind of fun stuff i'm just really excited like once the end of august comes or even like the beginning of august i'm kind of like over summer just because it's been so hot here it's been like there's been a heat wave in like the northeast so I have, it's been like 90 to 97 degrees almost every single day besides the last two days this week and man it's felt amazing to have some cooler weather. It's getting me so excited for fall and since we don't have like any water here besides obviously like the Potomac River um, which we don't swim in, we just kayak or whatever but like I feel like in the summer when I don't have water around like I don't really like love the summer. I feel like in the summer I need to be near some sort of body of water and then when I'm not I'm like I'm not into summer so we are going on a vacation in two weeks and I'm really pumped for that like I'm still excited for summer and like that kind of stuff when I'm at water but when I'm not I'm ready for fall which here I'm ready for fall because there's nothing to do here when it's really scorching hot like it's been 
Um, so I'm really excited to have some cool weather, be able to dress in some jeans, go out and do like brunch. And we're doing brunch tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. Um, and all that kind of stuff. So I've been chatting long enough. I'm gonna get my butt home, get a shower, and take Frank on a little walk probably because like I said, it's gorgeous out. And then I'll get my day started. So I'll see you guys at home. <gasps> to make a vet appointment for my Frank going on Monday, right Frankie? He's been chewing at his butt so badly that he's not a good boy. That's not what good boys do. So we're gonna go get checked out. You wanna go on a walkie, Frank? Do you wanna go on a walkie? Okay. Let's go. Okay, before I go up and shower, I want to show you Frankie. Oh, 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 hi Frank. We got him a new collar. It's so cute. He's been in need of a new collar. So we got him one. It says Pup Light all over it. And looks like little beer cans. It's so cute. It's from Goober. Goober collars. I think they're just on Etsy. Um, but I can link it if you guys are interested. They had a bunch of different types. He had a... Whoa! <laughs> Frank. He had a, a shark one from the same brand before. But I love them. They're so cute. And this one just really, really caught my attention. <laughs> it's so cute. It says Pup Light. Like, you can't find something cuter than that. Come on. And Frank loves it. I just showered up, got ready really quickly. I did, like, my five-minute makeup routine. And we are off. I'm going to run to Chick-fil-A because I've been, like, craving it. And then Trader Joe's. Probably have to come back home after because I get a lot of freezer stuff. And then maybe later I'll hit up like Marshalls or TJ's because I need more workout clothes. So that is the plan for the day. Here's my little outfit. Um, little shorts from Princess Polly. This black crop from Target. It's like a bralette crop top. And then my Miranda Fry necklace. I actually have a gold one. This one is mats in silver, but I just threw it on. Um, my wedding bands, all that kind of stuff. And I am off. I'm so excited for Chick-fil-A right now. I'm like craving it so badly. Okay, let's get going. Close the garage. Okay, show my wallet. I don't remember grabbing that yet. So, on our way to grab food and do some shopping. I like am in love with this day. It's so gorgeous out, it's insane. But um, these sunglasses, I think they are the cutest things. They're supposed to look like Bottegas and I got them off of Amazon for like 15 bucks. So I can link them all over you. I think they're so cute, especially with like the slicked bun and I just am loving them. So I'm sorry, this vlog I feel like has been so much in the car already. I hope you guys like that. I know I've gotten a few people ask me specifically for car vlogs, so I hope you guys are liking this and like enjoying it. I love vlogs where I can just like sit down and chat with you guys. I feel like I chat the best when I'm in the car, so I feel like that's perfect, but I I love just being able to talk with you guys and connecting. Like whenever you guys do comment and I can talk with you guys, it means so much to me. Like you guys have no idea. Um, so make sure you guys are commenting and I love to chat with you guys. Even if you like DM me over on Instagram, I'll have my Instagram handle like right here. Um, but all that kind of stuff like makes me so happy and it's the whole reason I started this channel and I've just been like thinking a lot about that recently and how thankful I am that I finally started this YouTube channel because this has been like a dream of mine since I was in high school, like literally since I was a baby. And I'm like wishing I did start it earlier, but oh well, we can't do anything about that now. But Matt finally talked to me into it like almost two years ago after I've been like talking to him about it like all the time saying, oh, I want to start a YouTube channel. I want to do this. And I just never had the guts. I never had the balls to do it. So if you're like that, like someone like who I was and like scared to do it, but you want to start doing anything, it doesn't have to be a YouTube channel. It doesn't have to be creating content. It could be anything like just go for it, try it. At least you could say you tried it then and you won't have any regrets, but um, I don't even know how I got into that rant. <laughs> um, 
but yeah so I will see you guys when I get to Chick-fil-a I got nervous having my camera on in the drive-thru so I didn't order with it on but I got a grilled I mean I got a chicken sand. I'm sorry I didn't quite catch that could you please say that again Cancel. Siri I stopped at McDonald's to get my soda first because I love McDonald's soda um but I just got a chicken sandwich and fries I was really craving it I saw this TikTok I guess yesterday or the day before and it was this little girl that always wants Chick-fil-a when she gets picked up from school but she says Chick-fil-a <laughs> it was so cute so I was like I need some Chick-fil-a Thank you. Have a good one. I think I'm gonna go find a little parking spot now and watch some YouTube while I eat. While I sit here, I'm gonna unbuckle and get comfy. I love sitting in my car and eating food. I don't know what. <laughs> One of my weird traits, I guess. But I'm gonna sit and watch Brooke Michio's Cape Cod vlog. She's posted it three hours ago. So she's like one of my favorite YouTubers. I would love to know who you guys love to watch too because I actually get analytics of who you guys also watch. Like if you watch my videos, you also watch other creators and Brooke Michio is actually one of those creators and that's like so cool. And so is uh, Rachel Racky. Well, Rachel Aubrey now, but she is my all time favorite YouTuber. So that's really cool to see too. Um, but I would love to know, like leave in the comments who your favorite YouTubers are. Mine are for sure. Rachel Racky, Brooke Michio, Danielle Carolyn, Julia and Hunter Havens, and those are like my four, like, I'll, I'll watch them as soon as they upload a video, but I also really like Just Stock Still, and people like that, so I'm gonna eat my food, watch my little YouTube video, and I'll see you guys in a little. Trader Joe's and I feel like I always spend the lawyers? I always spend so much more money than I'm like anticipating when I go to Trader Joe's because I just get like overwhelmed like I'm like I need everything type of thing I don't know and I tend to mostly get frozen like dinners when I come here because I get most of my fresh produce and like other groceries at my normal grocery store like when I go normal grocery shopping and I just get like fun stuff here but I still always spend so much money and I always my favorite part of Trader Joe's and like the reason I usually like get myself to come here is because I love fresh flowers in the house and their flowers are really affordable and I like to make my own little like bouquets so I usually get like three or four little bundles of flowers today I got three um, and then make my own bouquets around the house and it just feels so much more homey and like fun and I don't know like I just love flowers in my house so I got some flowers got some other goodies I'll show you everything when I get home Matt said he still has like two hours of golfing left it's already two o'clock so that's kind of shocking um, it's a long day of golfing so I'm gonna go home and unpack the groceries sorry camera was about to fall uh, I'll unpack the groceries and I think I'm actually gonna clean my car today like full-on like give it a wash and clean the inside because it's a disaster like disaster disaster <laughs> I've been really neglecting my car recently so just got back from Trader Joe's I'm just gonna pull everything straight from the bag first thing I got was a loaf of sourdough I guess it's like half a loaf but I was in this phase like during the pandemic where I made sourdough and I like loved eating sourdough with like butter or whatever peanut butter or whatever it may be and that's like an easy breakfast or like snacky thing make sandwiches with it all, all that stuff so picked up a loaf of sourdough I also picked up these chocolate croissants I have been seeing them on TikTok and they just kind of like intrigued me when we were in Greece I was obsessed like obsessed 
with croissants. <laughs> I probably had like four a day. So I'm gonna try these and see if they're good. And then I picked up a whole cone. I got the chocolate chip flavor. These are my favorite, but Matt never likes when I have too many of them in the house or like have them in the house at all because he just snacks and eats them all and they're gone. So I picked up one box, good little compromise. And then I picked up two bags of the mandarin orange chicken. These types of things are what I love getting from Trader Joe's because it's just such an easy, fast dinner. And like when we're not really in the mood to cook or like we're busy and whatever it may be, you can literally throw these in a pan and they're done in like five minutes. Put some rice on it and like call it a day. It's so easy. They taste really good. And we like having like a back stock of them in the freezer. So that's why I picked up like a bunch of them. Uh, we also got, I also got two of the barbecue teriyaki chicken. Those are really good too. And then I got one, one of the Kung Pao chicken. So a bunch of like good frozen stuff that we can just kind of have a back stock of. And whenever we're lazy and don't want to actually like cook dinner, these are here for us. So I'm gonna put these away really fast and then I'll be back. We are completely stocked in the freezer now. So no more food shopping for a while, I feel like, until we use the food we have here. So here are the flowers I picked up. They didn't have all that many great flowers today, which was kind of upsetting. So I got these purple ones. These are literally just called filler. Doesn't even say a flower name. And then I got eucalyptus. This is my favorite thing to have in flowers. So obviously picked up eucalyptus. And then I got white. I think these are jumbo mums. So those are pretty. I think I'm gonna try to make two arrangements. I don't know how well I'll be able to make my like, big ones. I usually make three for the house, but I didn't get as many flowers as I usually do. So I think maybe two will be good. And then the last few little things I got, um, I got like two of the little things that were at the checkout just because I wanted to like have a little snack. Um, these are dark chocolate covered almonds and then mini chocolate chip cookies. Like who knows why I did that, but I get suckered. I get suckered into things like that. And then I got Frankie some treats. Frankie, I got you treats. Yeah, I did. Do you want to have one? This is the uh, Just Salmon Skin Baked Dog Treats. Oh, oh, here you come. Here you come. Okay, okay, one second. We'll show them how good you are sitting, right? Right, we'll do some trickies. Okay, okay. Oh, sorry, I scared you. Okay, this is what they look like. They're like, I guess, salmon skin. So sit, lay down, lay down. That was good. There we go. Let me see if you like that. Oh, yeah, that's crunchy. What is that, Frank? You like that treat? I'll give you one more, okay? Yeah, sit. Sit. Good. That was so good. Okay, got them. Back, a little intermission. I think you liked them. And the last thing I picked up are these little cheese crackers. I used to love these as a kid, like the Ritz ones. So I just wanted to pick them up. I'm gonna quickly put together some flower arrangements and then go clean my car. Much needed. Here is the, the big piece that I made for the kitchen table. And it's a little messy, like a little big. Um, I like how the eucalyptus like kind of falls over, spills over and looks kind of like big. So that is that one. And then here is the little one for the coffee table and super cute. Now that that is all done, everything's put away. I'm gonna go change into some like athleisure clothes and get to washing my car. Matt says we have a hose here somewhere. I just have no idea where it is. So I gotta find all that stuff. Probably not gonna vlog this just because I know it's gonna be a mess and vlogging anything makes everything, like makes it take three times as long as it should without vlogging it. So 
I'm gonna save myself some time and just not vlog this. I'm washing my car, it's not that exciting. So, I'm gonna get to it and I'll see you guys, hopefully, in, in not too long, but we'll see. I look so crazy. So, Matt got home. I've been cleaning my car, I think, for like two hours. Hour and a half. It's been a long time, but my parents live in the Pine Barrens up in New Jersey, and there was sap literally all over my car from the pine trees. So I have like a tar and sap remover. I was like literally scrubbing the sap off of my car forever, and my like arms hurt from it. But now, Matt is making himself a little bagel. I am gonna grab my computer and go sit out on the porch for like a half hour or so and watch YouTube, just relax. It's beautiful out, so I just wanna sit and chill for a little. And then we're gonna head to Matt's parents' house tonight for dinner. They're doing, what's for dinner? Ribs, just ribs? Ribs. Ribs. Well, I don't know if there's anything. Um, sure, sure. Like some sort of barbecue situation. So that is what our plan is for dinner. Okay, we are off to Matt's parents' house for dinner. That's already in the car waiting for me. <gasps> Look at Frankie. Hi, Frank. Hi. Okay, we're off. stops right here come on no stop and refuses to walk up this hill <laughs> so Matt always has to pick him up sometimes I'll pick him up he's like I'm grabbing he always grabs his leash to try to go the other way here we go <laughs> this is the way he likes to walk being carried A little bit later now, got home from Matt's parents' house. We took Frank on a little walk over there. Matt's watching some football now. But um, I think we're gonna go grab some ice cream. I've been <laughs> wanting ice cream, so we're gonna go find somewhere to get some ice cream. Where do you wanna go, Matt? I'm gonna get it in a waffle cone. A waffle cone. <laughs> We're going to Coldstone, and Matt's getting his ice cream in a waffle cone. <laughs> that is so going in the video. Okay, off to get ice cream. Another day, off to F45. I'm running a little bit late, actually not awful but Matt's parents just stopped over because we have a farmer's market literally right behind our house and they bought like a garbage bag of tomatoes so they stopped over and gave us like three full like plastic bags full of garbage, uh, full of tomatoes, which is really nice. But now we have like 10 million tomatoes and I'm off to class starting our morning starting my morning with a little workout. Matt is gonna be taking Frank on a nice little walk while I'm gone. I hate this lighting right here, I'm sorry guys. He's gonna take Frank on a walk. And then when I get home, I'm just gonna get like ready and we're going to Arlington to see Mike, Matt's um, older brother's new apartment. And we're doing brunch out there with uh, two of Matt's brothers and one of our friends from college. So. That is the game plan. Gonna get a little workout in first. Nothing like a smile in the morning. Workout is complete. It was fairly easy. I feel like Sundays are always the easiest day. Uh, just because you have a longer rest period, I feel like, on Sundays. So, a good workout. Gone. Tomorrow will be seven days in a row. I mean, I know that's a lot of working out. But I hate taking days off. Because, one, you're paying so much money. So, I like to get my money's worth. And, two, it's literally the only form of exercise I get all day long. So, I really don't feel bad like not taking a rest day 
I'll just like go easier one day if I feel like I need a little bit of a rest. I'm gonna head my butt home, get ready, shower up, all that kind of stuff. And I'll probably see you guys when I'm ready for brunch. We just got ready really quickly. We're like in a rush now, so I'll show you my outfit really quick. Um, I have these little green shorts on from Zara and a white little crop shirt from Target, Majuri Jewelry. I'm actually taking a sponsored Instagram post for them today. Um, I'm gonna wear my Amazon sunnies and I'm gonna put some Air Forces on and I think we're really late, so we're gonna hit it. Bring his brother some tomatoes that his parents gave us earlier. I forgot deodorant on my shirt. Oh, I forgot deodorant. I need that, okay. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I need that, okay, I'll be right back. That was like craziness getting out of the house. But we made it, I'm in DC. Every He's rushing me. You have kids, you're gonna be like, I'm I know. I'm gonna be like panicking. But I literally got home and he's like, we're leaving in 15 minutes. So I was like, what in the world? Of course I'm gonna like be panicky a little bit. Oh, it took me like to leave in 15 minutes, but It took me like Joe, 20. I'm not like Joe. I get ready fast. <laughs> Are you okay? Dude, I hope I got that. I don't think I did. I think you're off. <laughs> he just tripped so bad, almost went down. That was great. Okay, so now we have like a 30, 40 minute drive. And we'll see you there. You okay, babe? <laughs> Just finished brunch at Wilson's Hardware. A little bit tipsy. A little bit tipsy. You're gonna have to retake that. <laughs> That's going in it, Mike. <laughs> um, but Mike lives like right here, so we're walking back to his place. No, oh, sorry, you never even got me on walk over. Me and all my boys. To a nice cream and we got the salted caramel pretzel brownie sundae. This place is so cute though. They literally make the ice cream with like liquid nitrogen and just add the ingredients to a base, which is so cool. Looks so good too. So it is now 4:30 and we're finally heading back home. I'm sure Frank is missing us, so tired and I want to get back home and like rest for a little. I definitely drank more than I was expecting to. I guess we got like a, drank a whole bottle of champagne. It was a big bottle of champagne. All right, we literally just walked in the door and immediately, I mean like immediately <laughs> changed into comfy clothes because I was getting so uncomfortable in that outfit today. I don't know what it was. I don't know if my pants were too tight or what it was. But I was like so excited to change and now I'm washing my face because I don't like having makeup on my face when I'm sitting at home especially after just touching that cat I kind of feel like grimy <laughs> so and like itchy like I think I'm kind of allergic to cats so um, I'm just gonna wash my face as soon as we get home I'm still using all my CeraVe stuff that I showed you in the last vlog if you haven't seen that I kind of showed my whole new skincare routine so you can go check it out but still using all the same stuff my face has been liking it besides i have like a few little spots right here you'll see when i take my makeup off that are still just a little bit irritated um but let me wash my face wash my face put on my nighttime moisturizer and i even put on my glasses for the night but this is the area i was talking about it's just like a patch of dry skin um around my mouth got really dry when i switched all of my skincare over and then this little spot right here take my glasses off for you to see this little spot right here has been acting up so that is about it but besides that my face has been adjusting pretty well to all my new skincare i kind of switched everything all at once which is probably not my smartest idea but that's okay um but on our way home from arlington we stopped at the grocery store and we grabbed a few things to make salsa with uh, with the tomatoes that Matt's dad brought over this morning. So I think Matt is actually 
is actually doing that right now, so I'll go down and check that out, but it's now 5.30, and I'm exhausted. The weather is kind of gross. It started raining a little bit, so I think I'm going to bring my computer downstairs and watch some YouTube on the couch while Matt watches whatever he wants to watch, but I'm going to do that. Matt is making his salsa, cutting up all his tomatoes. He likes it more like a pico situation, and I like my salsa watery. So I think I'm gonna take a little batch of what he makes and like kind of food process it up for my I'm gonna use the batch. food processor soon too, because I'm getting sick of cutting tomatoes. <laughs> cutting tomatoes? He's, how many have you cut, you think? Four? Yeah. He cut that five. many tomatoes, and look how many more we have. Holy crap, is this even all of them? Yeah. Like look at all these tomatoes, and we brought a lot to to Matt's brother's house today. And there's some over there too. Oh my yeah. gosh. But we got some cilantro, jalapeno, red onion, and lemon juice. Lime. And Matt, oh, sorry. I was literally re looking at the word lime and it said lemon. Um, but yeah, Matt seems like he's getting over the cutting of the tomatoes. My fingers are pruning. <laughs> um, but this is probably gonna be dinner. I might make a little piece of sourdough and butter that too, but we're not too hungry. We ate a big brunch, so that is the plan for right now. Here is my completed salsa. Salsa, so I say that really weird, salsa. It's getting a little bit later in the day, but it's like, oh, my neck. I really hurt my neck doing something, I don't know. Um, we've been watching, I was watching Jersey Shore and Matt just put on Seinfeld. We've been actually watching Seinfeld a lot the past like few weeks and I've been really liking it. It's so funny uh, But I'm like chilled to my bone right now chilled to my core So I'm gonna actually take a bath. I think it's like rainy and it's just that kind of vibes So I'm going to make myself a little Bath and have some YouTube on and light a candle. Oh my god my neck and all that kind of stuff and just have a little vibey bath Okay, I just got in the bath. I lit my candle. This is a milk and sugar candle. I think it's from like Marshall's. Um, but I'm gonna throw a bath bomb in the water. I have a little towel here. I always like to keep a towel on my chest when I'm in, when I'm in the bath, just to like keep me warm. My bath bomb's going. Um, but then I have my computer sitting right here and I made myself a little iced tea. I'm gonna watch some YouTube. This is a vlog from um, Kenzie Elizabeth just got out of the bath and as a really quick little snack before bed it's 8 15 right now I'm just gonna make a little piece of sourdough toast and put some butter on it and Frank is like what are you doing can I have some can I have some but yeah that is about all I'm gonna eat for dinner tonight So I'm going to eat that toast and then probably head up to bed or just sit on the couch and watch some Seinfeld with Matt before bed. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Uh, if you stuck around this long, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that kind of fun stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. I think I'm going to be vlogging a week in my life this week as well. So Oh, my toast just popped. So make sure you uh, subscribe, stick around, and all that stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.